Hi, I'm Vernon Robinson, and I'm the campaign director of the National Draft Ben Carson for President Committee. I'd like to give you a briefing on where the draft effort stands at this moment and where we're going to go from here. Why should Ben Carson be the best candidate for the Republican nomination? Well, first, he's the only candidate who can broaden the base of the GOP and be true to conservative principles at the same time. There are some fellows who are good on conservative principles. There are some fellows who can broaden the base, but only Dr. Carson can do both uh, and win 17% of the black vote, which means that he will beat uh, Hillary Clinton or whatever Democrat runs because they will lose every swing state. Um, and it puts every state in play except for maybe California, Oregon, and Washington forcing the opposition party onto defense. Secondly, he's shown the ability to clearly and calmly articulate uh, conservative values and ideas in a manner that every voter can understand. And the example is the prayer breakfast speech section on the progressive income tax. Dr. Carson said the most compassionate force in the universe is God. And God has a plan. It's called a tithe, 10%. Now, he did not say that uh, if you had a bad year, you pay no tithe, and he didn't say if you had a bumper crop, you pay triple tithe, so there's something inherently fair and compassionate about proportionality. You make a billion, you pay a hundred million. You make 10,000, you pay a thousand. And when I listened to that, I said, wow, that means that Hillary has to defend the proposition that she is more compassionate than God. And even the low information voters that Rush talks about uh, when presented that option. Let's see. Hillary, God. Hmm. I think they'll conclude that God is more compassionate than Hillary Clinton. And the third reason is that after the current regime has divided Americans in every way possible for the last five and a half years, Dr. Carson is probably the only person in either party who can bond with all Americans and heal the nation. The question I get asked all the time is, will Dr. Carson run? And I answer it saying, I am not in the crystal ball business. I'm in the change, the objective reality on the ground business. And the first reality is that Dr. Carson does not believe that you can look in the mirror and say, honey, I think we look great in the White House. He believes, as the founders did, that the office should seek the man and that you have to be called to run for President of the United States. And we are going to operationalize that by collecting a million signatures uh, so that Dr. Carson knows this wasn't an idea that three drunks came up with in a bar and hundreds of thousands of Americans are clamoring for him to run. As a matter of fact, we send 4,000 petitions over to Dr. Carson a week. Uh, the, the second and third objective reality is that unlike every Republican thinking about running for the presidency. Uh, Dr. Carson does not have either a political base or a fundraising organization except to the extent we build one. So what has the draft committee achieved since it was formed in mid-August of 2013? In a little more than nine months, we've gotten, uh, we've, there, there was a fellow run, who's now running for governor in New Hampshire, got 175 signatures. We have added to that over 250,000 petition signatures of Americans clamoring for Dr. Carson to run. Uh, we have over 240,000 supporters, either emails or their phone numbers, their addresses, or all three in a, in a nation builder organizing uh, database. We've raised over $5.3 million from 75,000 donors and have beaten Ready for Hillary PAC in all three quarters that we have been in operation. We've recruited over 11,500 volunteers in 50 states, the District of Columbia, and Americans abroad. Uh, Dr. Carson has won straw poll victories. Number one with the uh, New Hampshire Young Republicans. Uh, second place to Ted Cruz of the Values Voters Summit. Uh, first place in the Lynn County, Iowa straw poll during the midterm caucuses. Uh, it's a 
huge one-sided victory. At CPAC, Dr. Carson finished third ahead of 23 Republican elected officials, uh, narrowly finishing behind Ted Cruz and, uh, and a little farther back than, than Rand Paul. And finally, in the recent straw poll in uh, Wisconsin with two uh, favorite sons, Paul Ryan and Scott Walker, uh, the, uh, Dr. Carson, without saying that he's interested in running for president, finished fourth, uh, seven votes behind second place finisher Rand Paul. Uh, once upon a time, I tried to personally answer every volunteer who signed up on the website. On Thanksgiving weekend of 2013, 197 people signed up between Black Friday and, and Sunday, and I just gave up. Um, in, its, in my place, we stood up volunteer groups to help maintain the website, uh, the Facebook assets, where we have over 110,000 likes, uh, to create volunteer trainers to train other volunteers online, and to ensure that a live person responds to any inquiry uh, or action on the website the same day. Our next big challenge is to continue building out the ground game teams. Um, that same day response is the Organizing for America standard, and we think it's very important. Uh, we also want uh, to provide conservatives uh, the best tools. So we have a responsive system. Uh, we try to implement good ideas as quickly as possible, including a two and a half hour turnaround time on a great idea with a, a Droid app and a an iPhone app for QR codes on the website, which we did two, two and a half hours during a snowstorm. And finally, um, I believe that uh, uh, we've parked a Ferrari in your, drive, in your driveway or in your garage, and that's the Nation Builder organizing platform that I'll talk a little bit about later. What do we want everybody to do? Well, the first thing is we want you to join your Facebook group. There are 51 Facebook groups for the 50 states and the District of Columbia, and they're all in the same format. Missouri dash Ben Carson 2016, or Texas dash Ben Carson 2016. So you can see the other uh, supporters in your state, friend them, and work with them offline to uh, get Dr. Carson in this race, win the Republican nomination, and save the Republic. Uh, I want you to follow the Google f alert feed at the bottom of the www.runbenrun.org website, or I want you to create your own Google alert so that you can keep track of every time Dr. Carson is mentioned on the internet. If it's a positive piece, we want you to forward it to your friends. If it's a negative piece, we want you to push back. If it's a really negative piece, we want you to post the links on the website, uh, tell what happened, and then unleash the dogs of war, all 110,000 Carson supporters uh, subjecting that editor or reporter to great criticism. Uh, we want you to reach out to the people you're closest to, friends, neighbors, church members, uh, co-workers, people you do business with and relatives, and get them to pray, sign the petition, uh, volunteer, and donate. And finally, we want you to get up to speed on the Ferrari that we put in your garage, the Nation Builder Organizing Platform, um, by doing the online training, which can be found by signing on to the website with either Twitter, uh, Facebook, or an email address, and looking at the vertical menu for the training center. And you can watch the online uh, webinars, uh, recordings of the online webinars, and then finally, uh, the training calendar has several uh, uh, webinar scheduled on a regular basis to get you up to speed on the Ferrari that we put in your garage. For instance, there was a woman in suburban uh, Chicago who felt uh, isolated in a blue, a blue states and she's living 25 miles south of Chicago and she said, is there anybody out here who supports Dr. Carson like me? And so I said, well ma'am, I'll check and 20 seconds later I was able to tell her that there are 60 people within 15 miles of our house. 54 people who signed the petition and haven't donated or volunteered, two volunteers who haven't donated, and six, uh, five, uh, four donors, including herself. If you've done all those four things, 
what would we like for you to do next? We'd like you to create a spreadsheet of all the conservative groups, venues, contact information, and grassroots GOP leadership in your county. The, the homeschool groups, the patriot groups, and the uh, Republican Executive Committee and its auxiliaries like Republican Women, Young Republicans, College Republicans. We want you to attend those meetings. And we have a sample, set of sample speeches. Uh, one minute where you get up and say, I'm Steve Arnold and I'm a volunteer for the Robbins, <laughs> for the draft Ben Carson for President Committee. And we believe that Ben Carson is the best candidate because of one, two, three, and we would like you to join our great crusade by signing the petition at runbenrun.org, and I look forward to fellowshipping with you after this lunch. Um, and do something like that. Every president or chairman in every organization in America will give you a minute to stand up and say that. And then hopefully you or somebody else who feels uh, comfortable doing it will come back and be the speaker, uh, be the program, and do a 15-minute version of uh, this briefing or uh, a similar promotional speech that gets people excited about Dr. Carson. And then finally, uh, make sure that every group in your area has such a speaker. Um, I wanted to tell you briefly about the resources on the website. In addition to the training uh, resources under the Training Center tab um, on the uh, vertical menu after you sign in, I wanted to be, even before you sign in, on the horizontal tab there is something called volunteers. And under there you can either volunteer and there's a description of the, the various uh, digital teams and there's something called volunteer resources. Under the volunteer resources there is uh, sample speeches. Uh, we also have uh, free answers to frequently asked questions. A 12-line petition which is really good to pass around at a meeting, an um, 11 by 17 color poster, a three-fold color brochure, and three MP3 audio files on minority engagement. All of these resources are downloadable. Um, on the main page, on the bottom of, uh, in section seven, things you can do, uh, number four has a downloadable letter, which uh, John Philip Sousa IV lays in, in which Don Phil, uh, Philip Sousa IV outlines the case for Dr. Carson. And you can download that and send it to your friends. What are the challenges and opportunities facing the committee? Well, uh, we have met a, a media challenge in that uh, we, we had a dry spell until the, uh, the big win, unexpected win at CPAC, finishing third ahead of 23 uh, Republican elected officials, including all the biggies, except for Cruz and, uh, and Rand Paul. Uh, so we've been doing a great job of getting more exposure. Uh, and we have a weekly message meeting, but we need you to help get that message out. So we hope we get you involved. Uh, we have statewide meetings, um, like the recent Iowa homeschool event where we were able to participate. We need to know the statewide meetings of conservative groups in your state so that we can participate. Our biggest challenge is that we have 11,500 volunteers. We have lots of braves, but we have no chiefs. I'm looking for Crazy Horse and Sitting Bull and Red Cloud and Geronimo. I need a leadership to step forward because you're going to really feel bad if you have to call your or your grandchildren are calling you grand, uh, comrade grandpa. So the way that we stop that is for you to step forward and offer yourself for leadership. We have huge organizational assets. We have a great platform to organize those assets. Uh, but we need you to step forward in leadership and we, we want you to get trained because we do not want you to wait for orders from headquarters. We want you to ride to the sound of the guns. Um, we're bringing back the National Conference Call and Facebook Fridays, uh, where I sit typing very slow answers to questions on, on selected Fridays to the folks on the Facebook page. Uh, 
we managed to catch Hillary Clinton and outraise her in the in the, in the quarters uh, that we've been in operation. Remember, John Philip Sousa IV does not have George Soros's money, and George Soros is the finance chairman of Ready for Hillary PAC. So the country is much more ready for the leadership that Dr. Carson offers than the uh, lack of leadership and uh, the failures of Hillary Rodham Clinton, or whatever Democrat they put up. Down the road, uh, there are several things going to happen. The first is uh, the National Draft Ben Carson for President Committee is going to intervene in selective U.S. Senate races that are very close to ask minority voters for their support, to clearly state for the first time in many cases what the Republican Party stands for and what the Democrat Party stands for and where Dr. Carson stands on the major issues of the day in order to move one or two percent of the electorate to win uh, close Senate races and take uh, back the Senate as the first step to repealing Obamacare. Uh, when Dr. Carson announces sometime in the second quarter of 2015, the draft organization will melt away and will become the cadre for Carson for America or whatever the authorized committee is named. The draft fundraising donors will become the initial financial support necessary to sustain that authorized committee. And the draft committee's job shifts from promoting Dr. Carson to contrasting him with his Republican opponents. After Dr. Carson wins the nomination, the committee name will be changed to Americans for Dr. Carson and will be the offensive team running black, Hispanic, and Asian radio and TV ads in the ethnic media that these voters know and trust uh, for political information to once again clearly show uh, where Dr. Carson stands, where his opponent stands, and, uh, and let these minority voters for the first time know that in fact they should be sh voting with Dr. Carson and the other Republicans. That concludes this briefing. This morning, you brush the teeth that w of the person who will decide whether we have tyranny or liberty going forward in this country. We have one sacred obligation, and that is to leave to our children and grandchildren an America at least as free as the one we were born into. I hope you will join with me, meet that obligation, defeat whoever the left puts up, save the republic, and heal our land. Thank you very much.